Good day, everyone. So today we are going to talk about how to set up WordPress on a VPS. In previous video, we saw that how easy it was to set up a virtual private server of your own. Today we are going to see how easy it is to install WordPress with just a matter of few clicks on your virtual private server. So for that purpose, we're going to deploy a new server, which will have a brand new installation of WordPress on it. We're going to deploy a new server, just like we did before. We're going to choose Cloud Compute, and you can choose any location you want, but I will choose Chicago. Uh, we're going to choose Ubuntu. I'm going to keep the size small to $5 per month, 25 gigs of SSD, one CPU, one GB of memory, and one TB of bandwidth is enough for me to handle my website requirements for now. So the basic setup is okay. It's a 64-bit OS machine. And now, rather than setting or clicking up deploy now, we are going to move to the applications and see that there are a bunch of applications available with Vulture. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select WordPress and then we're gonna move on to our next phase, which is deploying the new server. We're going to click deploy now and the process is going to start. It's gonna take a while before our new cloud instance is set up. And while this is installing, we're gonna take some time and I'm gonna be back with you once the setup's ready. So as we can see that our new server is now set up. So we will click on the cloud instance. And let's see what's the difference between the normal server that we created yesterday and the one that we have created right now. So yesterday, uh, when you created that normal server, you did not have that additional application information with you, but today you have that. So you can see that the WordPress server, server details, I'm sorry, you can see all this information is available here. So you can click on this link and you can um, use the username and the password to log in to that server. Now let's do that. Let's see if that installation is really working or not. So we will click on the link. It will open a new window. We will copy the username from here. It's giving that SSL error because we have not yet uh, gotten any access or I've gotten any SSL certificate, I'm oh, sorry. So we will put the username, we will paste the password, we will sign in, and there we go, we can do the install. That's English. Site title, just another blog. Username is admin and password is my WordPress site, WordPress. Oh, let's keep it like my WordPress. Now, information, uh, for the email, I want to keep it as info at ktutes.com and I'll confirm the use of the weak password. I'll install WordPress. I don't care about the weak password anyway because I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to use my username and my password. And I'm going to log in. Oops, the password is not working. So loud. My WordPress, I'm sure that was the password. 
And voila, you have your new WordPress installation working on that IP address, which is not really a very suitable thing. And that's not how you want to uh, present your website. So we have some additional information here. So whatever you, your domain registrar is, <clears throat> either it's GoDaddy or it's Namecheap, you can do a very simple thing. You can go to the DNS server settings and you can point your A record to this IP address, which is plain and simple. I'll, I will tell you how to do that in probably next videos. Um, it is out of scope of this video as how to configure WordPress to work correctly. But that's how easy it is to actually set up a WordPress through using watcher.com or even DigitalOcean. <coughs> Excuse me. You can also access PHP My Admin details from here. And there you see, you'll use the same password which is given here. There we go. So, use the password. Oh, it doesn't work. So, we'll, you will use this one. Authenticate password. So, oops. There. Ah. I'm sorry, it didn't work for some odd reason. <clears throat> We're gonna try again. So we're gonna do a copy. We're gonna do a copy of the authentication password. And it should, oh, it's not allowing us to go in, but now, yes it is. Right. So that's how you access the additional tools. And it's a very handy, um, very handy utility. You can also have access to your carpet control panel, which is to manage your instance. It's also a very, very decent control panel, but it's also again, out of the use, uh, out of the scope of this uh, tutorial. And that's pretty much it. So it's just one or two clicks WordPress, WordPress installation, and you can just keep up, get up and running in a very fast time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via comments or personally through, through the message or you can just visit ktunes.com for um, additional information. Thank you very much for watching. Take good care. See you in the next video.